spectacle of racing here is just it's just great, man. The sound of the cars is just awesome. Papo, papo. I got pulled out of school to come to this race yearly. I drive two hours away to come here just to, to come here every year. What's up guys? We are here in Long Beach, one of my favorite races on the calendar outside the Indianapolis 500. Very high energy race that seemingly everywhere you look there's something to do, something to catch your interest. For me it's a semi-home race. I've been very fortunate to win here twice in the past. You know, it's a very, very special weekend with the history that the track has. Long Beach historically hasn't been our best racetrack, but I think it's a little bit of the St. Pete approach that we have. We've done a lot of work pre-event to try and, and arrive with something that's, that's stronger than what we've had in the past. We'll see if, if what we've learned so far is going to help us here this weekend and, and uh, see where we are. I don't want you in it. <laughs> Zach, is this, this is a special place for you. It's your home track. You're racing this week in your historic car. How do you feel about it? I feel fantastic. You look good. I, I look good, feel good. <laughs> Today's about uh, celebrating our 60 years of, of history. We're the uh, only team to have won uh, what's called the Triple Crown, which of course is the Indianapolis 500 the 24 hours of the law and the Monaco GP, and I think we'll find these liveries uh, all point to those individual wins. So we're uh, quite excited and uh, most excited about being here this weekend and hoping that we can, uh, we've come away with a, a couple podiums and near, near wins that hopefully this will be uh, win number one of the year uh, for 2023 for us. Two, one. Excited to, to finally get to pull the, pull the covers off these cars. Really proud of uh, really putting this together, trying to show the, the history and achievement of, of McLaren Racing and, and Aaron McLaren. You know, we're looking to, to add to that come May, and uh, what better way to do it than with these three beautiful race cars that just uh, evoke all the all the good feels. <laughs> oh, man. I can't stop smiling. It's. Uh, you know they say that if you really, you know it's the right car if you look back at it after you walk away from it. And I've been looking back at this one probably a hundred times the last two minutes. I feel like Aaron McLaren every every year they, they they somehow make it better than it already was. So it's uh, super exciting for us. What a great nod to our, our history having won Le Mans, uh, Monaco, and of course the uh, Indy 500, our first of the Triple Crown wins. Uh, we have four awesome drivers, one great team, four great looking cars, three of course celebrating our history. Uh, I wish Indy 500 was tomorrow. Fortunately, it's Long Beach this weekend. It's pretty wild to see how many fans showed up. Uh, it seems like it's race day compared to years prior coming out here. So super awesome to see all the papaya hats, papaya shirts everywhere, fans showing up in droves. So just super stoked to have everybody out here. And hopefully uh, we'll see you in victory lane.
Yeah, having all the fans here is, is pretty awesome. I think it just shows the passion that exists here um, and the appetite for IndyCar racing. Not only is there a lot of fans, but they're incredibly knowledgeable. They know kind of who their favorite drivers are, who their least favorite drivers are. And then driving around as well is, um, this is the epitome of a street circuit. You know, you're driving past restaurants and bars, and it's a sensory overload for, for us as drivers, but also fans as well. Okay, first, you're last. If you ain't first, you're last. It's a, it's a good thing to get uh, a lot of nationalities out here, and we're Mexican-American, so to have a Mexican driver again uh, on the field. Uh, years ago, there used to be a few of them. Um, it was really special. We had a few cars with uh, Mexican sponsors, and to have one uh, uh, driver right now, it's, it's, it's really special. Maybe. I get to start a recap, so it's pretty exciting. Um, Tree trunk? It's cute. Uh, great first day, I think. Um, you know, three cars in the top ten. Obviously, the battle was quick. For me, it was my uh, kind of second time on a street course in the R.O. McLaren car, and it was a really positive first impression, so looking forward to the rest of the weekend. Yeah, I mean, solid day. I don't think I had too much to report from today, kind of like a vanilla session. I mean, we're all in the top 10, uh, feeling good. Like, it's early days, lots of traffic, tight track. Uh, yeah, let's go tomorrow again. Yeah, I think the field is going to be really, really tight tomorrow in qualifying, as, I mean, today practice was, so... I'm happy with it. I'm happy where we're at. I think as a team, we're uh, we've got three really strong cars. So uh, I think tomorrow's just going to be about not making the the little mistakes that you can make in qualifying that can really put you back. Of sold ourselves uh, ourselves short on that first attempt in Q2, um, which you know made us put a second set of tires to end off the session, which meant we wouldn't have a fresh set for for Q3. So that kind of put us in a in a, in a disadvantage with with some of the other guys, uh, specifically Kirkwood. Um, in Q3, I was on a. I was on a good lap, not as not as good as, as what Kirkwood threw down, but I think it would have I think it would have put us um, third. But uh, I mean, I knew I knew I had I kind of had to bring out a a pretty mega lap on used tires in order to get Kirkwood. And obviously, being a racing driver, I went for it, and um, yeah, I just lost a little bit of time in turn nine, being a little too greedy. But um, we're starting six tomorrow, third row. Uh, I don't think it's too bad. We've I think we will have a we'll uh, we'll give ourselves a good race car and and we'll see what we can pull off tomorrow. I just want to take a moment to uh, say how impressed I am uh, with all of you. Uh, what our racing team uh, looks like, what our racing team feels like. Where are our racing drivers? They disappeared. Oh no, there's one. Oh, they're hiding. They're hiding. They're hiding. Cool. Very excited to be here. I like the energy that yesterday in qualifying, we missed it by just a bit, and we're kind of grumpy about it. And that's, that's, that's awesome. I think we've got three awesome racing drivers. We'll have a fourth awesome racing driver joining us for the Indy 500. Uh, I think we're the talk of town. Um, and I think we're doing it in a pretty humble and, and modest way. We're just kind of head down, getting on with it. And uh, everything looks awesome. So congratulations to, uh, to all of you. Go! One thing I know about McLaren, great strategy. The team does not let the drivers down. The drivers just need to hold to that strategy and they'll, they'll push for the win. I have every bit of confidence in all three drivers. Uh, I think they've got a really strong car, so hopefully not too much. Um, hopefully we'll see some attrition and, you know, Six for Pato, be able to get up there really easily, and the other guys aren't too far behind. Him, so I don't think it'll be too hard. Mark that footing. Coming back for round two. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
inside like i said this kind of move you never would have seen this last year or in the last bunch of years here at long beach that new pavement just giving drivers the confidence of throwing it down the inside and let's see it from pato's on board and i'm sure dixon was just surprised I, that's a late it, move it came late but the contact was square shoulder to shoulder perfect alignment and i would assume indycar calls that a racing incident Copy that. It's a full pit lane. You're going to have to come around Armstrong, guys. In three, two, one. Clutch. Outside, 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 outside. Still there. Right. Right, Pato, we saw that. Is there any damage? I think it's fine. Rear left tail. We are. This will mean so much to this oh. driver, Alexander Rossi, it looks like, down in the tires. That's terrible for Rossi, who was having a really good race. That's he down in turn nine, I believe. That's very unfortunate. Checkered flag, checkered flag. I know that's not the day we wanted at all. This group can achieve uh, really good things this year, so we we'll move on to the next one. All right, man, everyone's back today. No fault, man, we're a team here. Great job there, man. I know that was pretty difficult to do. You did an awesome job, dude. Great job, everybody in the pit. Our P, uh, P7, bro. P7. I'm sorry, I felt a bit frustrated there in the beginning. I just felt a lot quicker. It's all good. Uh, P7, good flying. I'll hope keep it rolling. Yeah, man, all good, dude. All good. It gets a little spicy out there sometimes. 
All right, uh, P7 here in Long Beach uh, from P10. So it's, it's a good day. It's not a fantastic result, but it's uh, you know we'll take it. It kind of brings us back, brings us back in the game a little bit in the championship. Uh, bad day for our teammates. I feel I feel bad for both Alex and Pato. It was a it was a big fuel save race. We kind of got stuck a little bit in the in the first stint, but the second and third we were really strong and uh, made up some decisions. So good fun in the end. Good racing. Uh, happy to be back in the points and uh, move on to the barber.